Hello, I am the moon, and since the beginning of mankind, man did not have electricity to always light the streets, so they relied on me to light up their streets at night. Now, even today, you can walk out into your backyard and look up and see the moon. I might be full, I might not even be there. Well, there's different phases. What are these phases? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now to space to talk about the phases of the moon. First, we must put on our astronaut helmet so that we don't suffocate. The edges might be sharp, but it'll save your life. First, we're gonna talk about the new moon phase. The sun should be right there. The moon Hello. should be right I here. I am the moon. And the earth right there. Now the new moon, from looking up from earth, man, this astronaut helmet really makes it hard to breathe. Now to the moon. Now that we're on the first phase of the moon, the new moon phase. About the new moon, since it blocks the sun, it doesn't really do that because it's at a five degree tilt. If it wasn't at that five degree tilt, we'd be getting a lot more solar eclipses. All right, now we're on the waxing crescent moon. Wowee, this one, we only get a sliver of the moon. The sun shines slightly on the edge, while the rest of the moon is dark. <coughs> now to our next phase. Here we go. Whoa! Now we're at the first quarter moon. And we can see only 50% of our moon. The reason it's called a quarter, though, is because there's four big parts to the moon. The new moon, the first quarter moon, the full moon, and the third quarter. All four of those make four big quarters. Now we're at the first one. Whoa! And we're here. This is the waxing gibbous. The waxing gibbous, we can see 75%, and it looks like an oblong circle, but the moon isn't fully lit in our night sky. Now to our next phase. Whoa! We're at the full moon now. And the full moon, we can see everything, and it's the second, third, quarter to the four quarters of the moon. The sun shines across the full moon. The sun is lighting the side that we could not have seen before when it was the new moon. That is why we see the full moon in our night sky. Now to our next phase. Whoa! <laughs> and here we are. We're on the other end. It's not waxing anymore. It's waning. We're on our waning gibbous moon. This is exactly like our waxing gibbous moon, but it's filling in on the other side. Oh, interesting. Now to our next phase. Whoa! And here we are. Now we're at the third quarter moon. We're almost back to the beginning, folks. Look at that. Remember how we saw only 50% of the moon in the first quarter? Now we see it again, but on the other side. Now to our next phase. Whoa! Now we're on the waning crescent moon. There's a slight sliver in that right corner of the moon as the sun is illuminating that while the rest is dark. And we'll go to our last phase. Whoa! The beginning. The new moon where we started. Do you remember? This cycle takes 29.5 days. So sometimes, as in this month of January 2018, we'll have two full moons. One at the beginning and one at the end. Whoa! Another crazy fact about our moon. Now, 
When it's a full moon, our sun rises at sunset and sets at sunrise. Whoa! And guess what? Our new moon is the complete opposite. It rises at sunrise and sets at sunset. Now, with our third quarter moon, that rises at midnight and sets at noon. First quarter rises at noon and sets at midnight. Whoa! Now you know everything about the moon, okay? Yeah, yeah. Sun isn't so great anymore, right? Yeah. Don't, it, do, it doesn't have faces. I do. I have faces. And I light your night sky. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Faces of the Moon.